Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another Clash of Clans video here on the Klaus Gaming YouTube channel, your source of Clash of Clans content, tips, tricks, and of course, entertainment and update information, which is what today is all about because the Town Hall 13 update went live this morning, and I will be going to Town Hall 13 today. It's going to be absolutely amazing, guys. I've got so many magical items that I need to spend, and the best part is I haven't actually planned for what I'm going to upgrade and how yet. It's going to all be happening on the video. So uh, before, though, we get into all that amazingness, let's hear from today's video's sponsor. Yeah, today's video sponsor is not actually a company, it is a freelance artist. Yes, I have partnered with a freelance artist that you could hire if you need some art made. Super, super cheap, she's so fast and amazing. She's an amazing artist, she has made my new uh, avatar, which I absolutely love. She made the channel art for my second YouTube channel, she's working on merch, and of course, future projects as well. She's super great to work with, she's affordable, and um, she's also really cool, she'll show you how or her art was made. If you watch this quick uh, time-lapse video of her actually making my channel art for my second channel, Klaus Media, links in the description, by the way, shameless plug. Uh, if you actually look at this video, it, it sh it, she shows you how she makes the art. It's super, super cool. So, um, guys, if you need any art made, then do be sure to check her out. Send her an email. Actually, she said the best way to contact her is Instagram, but she also has Twitter and email as well. And she's running a special promo on her Patreon. So the links to all of those things all the ways to get in touch with her is in the description. Uh, if you want any art made, she's awesome. Also, uh, if you do buy some merch, her and I are splitting that commission. So do support her, support me by checking out the merch and there'll be a lot more designs coming up in the near future. So super excited to continue working with her guys and I hope that you do too if you need any art made. Oh, and one more thing, if you guys actually have any merch design ideas, please post them down below in the comments section so I can send the best ideas to her so that she can make it. It's awesome. Okay, so now that we've done all this, let's get into today's video. I'm going to be going to Town Hall 13, and I'm going to be doing it right now. Bam. There you go. I've spent all of my gold. I am, I am now goldless, and a lot of you are probably freaking out. You're like... Why did you do that? You could have used your hammer. No, no, no. I've got a book of building. I'm going to use the book on this, and then I'm going to actually use the hammer on a more expensive upgrade here in just a minute. Because remember, the book only takes care of the time, but the hammer takes care of both the time and the loot. So you want to use it on the more expensive and the longer upgrades. So let's go ahead and do this, guys. We're going to be Tunnel 13s immediately in three, two, one, bam! Oh, that looks nice. That looks very, very nice indeed. Yes. Um, of course, it's got the Giga Inferno now. I uh, gotta love the Giga Inferno. And then, of course, it does um, 200 damage per second. It can target four, tar uh, four targets. It's actually stronger than a level 5 Giga Tesla. And, of course, you can upgrade it four more times. Um, obviously, the um, Town Hall is also holding a lot of storage capacity. I can now hold 14 million gold and Elixir. The Dark Elixir doesn't look like it's changed. That's interesting, right? Uh, but all right, so now that that's done, we got a load of new things that we can get. Actually, whoa, wait a minute. I have, I've unlocked a few more rewards. Sweet, I needed the wall rings. About to have a whole bunch of walls I need to upgrade. But first, let's look at the magical items that I have. Wait, those are in the town hall. The magical items. I basically have the max number of every magical item that you're allowed to have. This is what you get, except for the book of building. I just used that, and I never got a book of everything. Not sure why. Uh, but this is what you get when you buy the gold passes, but you don't buy any of the special deals. But by the way, if you do buy any of the special deals, and there's a bunch of them, the winter jam, it's a 5x value. You can get 70 million gold, 1.2 million elixir, or dark elixir, sorry, for $100. It's expensive, I know, but some people may think it's worth it. You Continue over winter clearance. All of these are super, super valuable, guys. Um, ooh, the Town Hall 13 pack. Get the level five royal champion and a scatter shot plus 200,000 dark elixir for 50 bucks. If you decide to do this, guys, if you decide to make any of these purchases, then please don't forget to double check and make sure that you're supporting a creator. It doesn't have to be me, support any creator. If you want to, check out the gears button at the bottom, right hand side of the screen, hit more settings and scroll to the bottom. Make sure that your creator boost is filled with somebody's code. If you want to support me with that purchase, then use code Klaus. Excellent. Okay, so now I need to actually think about some stuff because I have a rune uh, for everything. I've got a gold rune, an elixir rune, and a dark elixir rune. So honestly, what I want to do is I want to use that rune 
uh, as close to zero as possible for every single type of resource. So, uh, first I'm gonna collect everything that I've already got because I do have quite a bit of loot in my treasury. Yeah, I've got lots of gold. I've actually got lots of elixir too. Let's actually spend the elixir. Let's go into my progress base. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to readjust my progress base. Um, or I could do what a lot of people have always suggested in the comments and just like, instead of moving everything down and then moving them across again once they're maxed out, just leave them on the top and move them across now. But it's gonna be confusing for everybody because everybody's always used to the non-max stuff being down here and all the max stuff being up here, at least in my opinion. So I'm gonna readjust my progress base off camera for next episode, which will be tomorrow. Uh, but for now, we need to just decide where we're gonna upgrade. Now in the suggested upgrade section is actually super, super helpful because it shows that you have, uh, the suggested upgrade would be the laboratory. If you're going with the elixir, with gold, you actually have a new seeking air mine it's a zero second upgrade we might as well get it right um where are the seeking air mines they're over there okay so if i if i go ahead and upgrade that there we go move this air bomb over then at least it's actually you know what it's a new trap i'm gonna leave it separated so that i can remember that it's kind of the noob level one seeking air mine but yeah so the suggested upgrades are super super helpful new bomb should be a zero second upgrade too i'm gonna go ahead and grab that there we go um, what else can I get? Well, obviously the Royal Champion, but we're not talking about Dark Elixir right now. What about, oh, okay, so the next thing it wants me to do is upgrade this bomb for 13 minutes. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to focus now on Elixir. Now, oh wait, what what else is new? Okay, I got the two new traps. The Royal Champion is also new, and then the Scatter Shots are also new. Everything else, there's nothing else is really new. That's um, that's helpful actually, because it makes the decision making process super, super easy. So obviously, I think this is obvious, I'm going to get the Royal Champion today, okay? That's obvious, but I want to go to zero Dark Elixir first. So, oh, and because I've got the Dark Elixir rune, it would make the most sense to actually upgrade this Dark Elixir storage, uh, possibly finish it off, I don't think I have a way to finish it off, actually. Um, I would have to instantly finish the upgrade with the hammer to do that. So we may have to put that off. I'm, I'm all about efficiency. I'm not about being dumb and wasteful. So um, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm not going to use the hammer on the Dark Elixir storage. And I don't have any other books that will finish it off immediately. So if we start the Dark Elixir storage upgrade today, we'll have to wait for nine days. I think I just said five, but nine days before we can actually move on and upgrade or use that, that um, Dark Elixir rune. So I'm not gonna use the rune today. That's the first thing I can mark off my list. Also, I don't really wanna use my gold or elixir rune either because um, the uh, the storages get upgrades. I can upgrade the storages one more time. Each upgrade adds a million to its storage capacity. So altogether, we'll be able to hold not 14 million, but 18 million loot. So I'm gonna wait and use my runes after I finish the uh, uh, the uh all the storage upgrades. Cool, so now I don't have to worry too much about the runes. Um, so let's just go ahead and collect the gold out of this treasury and max out everything else. So I've got 240,000, whoa, whoa. Well, I'm gonna collect my free gems real quick while I'm down in Builder Base. I don't play Builder Base, I just don't. Um, so let's um, let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm thinking Royal Champion. Yeah, I'm thinking Royal Champion. But before we do that, let me look at the price of upgrading the Queen. 225,000 Dark Elixir. Now, the max level at Town of 13 right now is level 70. So we'd have to upgrade the Queen five times. Now, I do have a Hammer of Heroes that I'm going to definitely use on something today. Probably this Queen upgrade, but I just, uh, I just really, really want to get this Royal Champion so we can show her off today or maybe tomorrow, whenever we get to finally do an attack. I've got to work through all these upgrades first. So let's get this Royal Champion. I think I could probably afford to upgrade her twice, actually. So so let's just see. Let's just see. Okay. You guys ready? Let's go in three, two, one. Bam. Nice. And I can actually um, afford to upgrade her again. So let's go ahead and get a level two royal champion in three, two, one. Bam. And it's um, a less than 24 hour upgrade. So gemming her would be super inefficient. So this works because then, uh, well, we'll see. Okay. Now, so the Royal Champion is upgrading. I've got 14 million elixir. Now the next step, and this is the most important elixir upgrade on your base is to upgrade the laboratory. This is also a nine day upgrade. Unfortunately, um, I, uh, I don't, I, I mean, I have upgrades that are going to take significantly longer and are significantly more expensive, but Here's the thing, I have a lot of magical items that are hinging on that laboratory. This includes the Book of Fighting, this includes the Book of Spells, this includes the Hammer of Fighting, and also the Hammer of Spells. So I need this laboratory to be upgraded immediately. So that is actually 
what I'm going to use my hammer of building on. Yes, the laboratory, because it is just epic. I love the, the laboratory. Best building in the game. So let's go and upgrade this in three, two, one, bam. And now we now we now have laboratory options, and this is good because I'm using uh, currently my army is a queen walk hog um, with a few other things. So there's several different buildings or several different spells and several different troops that are super important. The ones that can be upgraded at tunnel 13 from a max tunnel 12 right now in this current mode of the game. I'm sure more content will come out for tunnel the 13 later on. Uh, but the wall breakers is one of the options. The balloons is a huge huge option. We're probably going to get into that soon. Um, the healers is is also another option and notice that now um the troop heal and the hero heal is a separate stat so you guys can actually pay attention to that so the troop heal at um tunnel 12 max healers is actually the same as tunnel 13 max healers the only effect that changes when you upgrade the healers is the fact that it will heal the he the heroes heal the heroes that's kind of hard to say heal the heroes a little bit better so something definitely to consider if we're going to be using a queen walk which i am also we have the dragons we have the miners and the electro dragons they have all have upgrades um the heal spell and the jump spell have upgrades as well for elixir spells the only dark elixir spell that has an upgrade is the skeleton spell no big deal and of course then we have the hog riders the bowlers and um and that's it wow okay so um also some things to consider the yeti which is something that you can unlock if you upgrade the barracks is definitely something that i want to get up to very very soon however i um i it's not a huge top priority for me um i i do uh, also you can unlock that at tunnel 12 so if you're tunnel 12 go ahead and get your yetis but I, i'm not going to prioritize that super super high right now i know they're good troops but i've got other things that i need to spend my elixir on the other thing that i didn't mention is if you go all the way to the end the siege barracks so if i go to my siege workshop where are you at there you are buddy my uh, siege workshop if you upgrade this then you unlock the siege barracks and it just i don't know siege barracks don't seem all that great to me because you can't go into the base with it it's more like a funneling thing which would be useful for a lower level like a tunnel 10 that can accept one of these siege barracks from a town hall 13 so better for lower level players i guess though some would argue tunnel 10 is not lower level but you understand what i mean so i'm not going to worry about the siege workshop either i'm going to focus primarily oh, wait wait does the army camps get oh the army camps don't get an upgrade cool this is why i need to upgrade my progress base or, or adjust my progress base because right now i'm totally confused so i think the best things to spend my elixir on are actually either the grand warden which gets i believe wow this is a lot of buttons uh <laughs> i believe 10 levels for the grand warden he maxes out at level 50 so that one that may be a good option for our um for our elixir today but i think the the higher priority are to go ahead and use our hammer of fighting and our hammer of spells and then also our book of fighting and maybe even our book of spells we'll just have to see depends on if i had the loot so um obviously the number one troop that i need to upgrade are the hog riders okay i'm a huge fan always have been for the past four years of youtube have always been a huge fan of the hog riders so let's go ahead and use this hammer of fighting to max out the hogs and real quick let me look at my um let me look at that okay do they change in how they look that's the question that i'm asking right now okay you guys ready in three two one bam Oh, and now they've got electric hammers. Oh, that's glorious, dude. Dude, we're about to dominate some bases. That is amazing. That's just awesome. Okay, so I have used... Wait a minute. Where'd my dark elixir go? Wait a minute. Did I spend... Oh, I... I duh. I've spent all my dark elixir on the royal champion. Okay, I was, I was confused there for a second. Okay, so I can't do any dark elixir upgrades in the lab now. But what I could do is potentially an elixir upgrade in the lab. And I think that the next most important upgrade that I could do is likely the healers. Because this will make my queen walk a lot stronger. So, I've got the loot... But am I going to want to use the, the book? I guess it just depends. So let's go ahead and upgrade this healer group, guys. This is a 13 and a half hour up, 13 day, 12 and a half hour upgrade in uh, and 13 million elixir. Do I have that much? I think I do. Yeah. Okay. Let's go in three, two, one. Bam. Okay. So again, I got the book of fighting. Let me, let me uh, take a inventory once again at my magical items. I got all the spells and stuff. Um, actually, wait a minute. I've got a lot of rewards I can claim here. I can't claim... I've got an extra million elixir, an extra little bit of dark elixir, another book of spells, and another book of fighting. Wow. But the problem, the limiter is going to be loot here. So, um, oh, by the way, if anybody out there is like, why didn't he buy any of the packs? My, my channel has always been based on 
being as free to play as possible. That's just always been the way it is. And I, I think that that makes me very relatable as a YouTuber and as a player of Clash of Clans. So um, that's why I'm doing this as cheaply as possible. I've always bought the gold pass because the one gem donations and the new skins are fun. Um, but I never do buy any of the packs. So in case you were wondering. Um, I just realized how long this video is going. Holy moly. Okay, so let's just, let's just look at this. I've got a, ooh, I've got a hammer of spells, actually. I should have used that. Dang it, I forgot about the hammer of spells. Um, so I could use a, a book of fighting, but then I, I don't have the loot necessarily to start another upgrade, right? I mean, I've only got, uh, yeah, see, I'm not going to be able to keep my laboratory rolling. I made a mistake, guys. I should have used my hammer of spells, but I made a mistake. Also, hey, while we're at it, um, I've got a, a cooldown, Ollie, so I could technically buy another set of these hammers, but I'm going to wait just a little bit until I use them up. Um, I think, you know what? No, I think it'd be worth it to go ahead and use the Book of Fighting, leave the laboratory not running later. I think that's better than waiting for, for 14 days to use all these things. So I'm going to go and use this Book of Fighting, guys. Get my max healers in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Nice. Okay, so I have, once again, I have the Hammer of Spells, okay? Hammer hammer of Spells. So what spell would I like to, to max? I can get the Heal spell, the Jump spell, or the Skeleton spell. Well, obviously, I'm going to hammer the Heal spell, because the Heal spell is good for hogs. Let's go. Three, two, one, bam. Nice. Okay, so I think that does it for all the hammers, except for one, and that's obviously the Hammer of Heroes. Um, this upgrade to the queen level 66 might as well do it because I'm gonna be able to get another one to start the countdown again Remember there's a cooldown for the hammers you get seven day cooldown. So let's go and do this guys in three two one bam Awesome level 66 queen. It's amazing. I'm gonna go and collect my treasury now and then let's go out and buy the rest of our hammers I'm gonna just basically buy one of each. I've got loads of metals from CWL very, very nice. And I could actually buy some loot if I need to, to fill up all five builders. Because I've noticed that I'm not really using up my builders very well today. Um, but okay, so. Have I, um, what else do I have as far as magical items are concerned? This is a long video and all I'm trying to do is upgrade stuff and to make decisions. So I've got another hammer of fighting. So which upgrade would I like to do now? Uh, obviously the balloons would be a great upgrade. The miners would be epic to watch. Um, the only dark elixir upgrade we have left are the bowlers. I could, you know what I could do? I could just go ahead and use this hammer of fighting on the bowlers. That way every drop of dark elixir that we get can go into the heroes. I think that'd be an intelligent and wise decision. So let's upgrade this bowler to max, though I don't use it much. Um, it's, it's still worth it, I think. So let's go guys in three, two, one, bam. Awesome. So the bowlers are now maxed out. What else do I got? What else do I got as far as hammers go? Um, I got a hammer of building. I've got a hammer of spells. Ooh, I can do another spell. Nice. Well, obviously, we're going to do the um, hammer of um, spells on the jump spell. So let's go and do it. Three, two, one. Bam. Dude, we're making so much lab progress. I'm going to be able to go out and just, just wreck bases in the face so hard. They're going to wish they were never born. Okay, so I've got another hammer of building and another hammer of heroes, actually. Forgot about that. Let's go ahead and use this hammer of heroes on the queen. I'm going to get a max queen as soon as possible, guys. I don't want to have to spend time without her. I love my queen walk. So, another hammer of heroes into the queen to level 67 in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so I've used all my hammers except for the hammer of building. So I guess the question is which which gold upgrade or elixir I could technically use it on an elixir upgrade um, Which which one's the most expensive it looks like the uh, Let's see here uh, Well all the defenses actually all the defenses are very expensive I would say probably the eagle artillery would be the wisest way to use our hammer of building because it's flipping 16 days and four hours just because everything's 20% discounted right now because of the uh, because of the winter jam or whatever it's called. Let me go to events here. Uh, the four star bonus is really huge, but the four, where is it? Is it the Christmas tree? I can't figure out what's giving me this discount now. 20% off. Um... Okay, I don't even know. I just know everything's discounted right now, but I can't figure out why. But I'm happy with I'm going to accept it anyway. So, 16.2 million gold or no, we're going to use a Hammer of Heroes and max out this Eagle Artillery in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Nice. And I love the Electric Blue theme for Town Hall 13. It is just absolutely epic. Okay, so I've used all my hammers. Uh, what about my books? I've got a Book of Heroes and I have a Book of 
um, of spells. So, but I don't have, I don't have enough, so this is what I was saying, and now I don't have enough loot to actually upgrade anything in the lab, unless I spend metals to do that. So I'm thinking, I can't buy Dark Elixir with metals, so I can't use my book of spells now. Um, that's kind of a bummer. However, I could buy the loot and maybe start upgrading like the miners or something. I know that would be super, super helpful. Or maybe even the balloons. That would probably probably be helpful as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on in here. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Wait. I know I've got extra loot somewhere. My treasury is empty. My, um, oh yeah, this is where I got my extra loot. I'm going to go ahead and collect this. I've got wall rings. Ho, ho. Um, power potion, I'm gonna go ahead and collect that 5,000 Dark Elixir. Got another book of spells I can't use. Another book of fighting, my goodness. Jeez, um, yeah. This is insane. I, I've gotten so much progress done, basically for free. It's crazy. Okay, so, um, uh, which one do I want to upgrade first? Um, I'm, I'm guessing, uh, balloons, okay? So we need 12 million Elixir. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy until it maxes, until it doesn't let me anymore. That'll work. Very good. Okay, so I've got lots of elixir now. So let's go ahead and start this uh, balloon upgrade right now. 12.6 million elixir, 14 day and 9 hour upgrade in 3, 2, 1. Bam. And then I've got this book of fighting. <laughs> My goodness, guys. Let's do this. Let's finish these balloons off in 3, 2, 1. Bam. Nice. I think I've pretty much maxed out everything that I use. I did. Dude, I maxed out every troop that I use on a regular basis with this army. That is awesome. So now let's go ahead and buy a few more. I've got more than enough metals. No worries there. So that I can start another upgrade. And this one is actually going to be counting down. I'm going to go and upgrade miners because I think miners are absolutely epic. So basically a 14 day upgrade. 12.6 million elixir in 3, 2, 1. Bam. And I do not have a book. Finally, I don't have a book. I'm actually happy for that. Um, all right. So again, we're not going to use the runes until I max up my storages. So what I should probably do is upgrade these storages. They're 4 million gold a piece. But what about heroes, dude? I feel like I should probably try to maybe upgrade a, the, maybe the warden or something. It's, well, sorry. The, uh, where's the warden? There's the warden. 10.8 million elixir. Here, let me, um, let me use up all of my, I'm just going to max out my elixir once again. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and start upgrading the Dark Elixir storage. Forgot about that. That's a huge upgrade so that we can use our Dark Elixir rune to get another hero upgraded. So nine day upgrade. We're going to wait on this one. 8.1 million Elixir in three, two, one. Bam. And we still have three builders to go. Dang, this is insane. Okay. So um, obviously we're going to upgrade an Elixir storage. So let's go and do this. Four million gold. There we go. I've still got two more left. So let's buy... Another deal of gold, upgrade another elixir storage. So basically I've got all the uh, boring stuff going right now. I need to leave my fifth builder because my, well, the world champion done, is done tomorrow. I guess I don't necessarily need to wait, um, but it sure would be good to go ahead and just get all the elixir upgrades done. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more gold and I think that'll cover me. No, one more. Right there. There we go. Let's go ahead and upgrade this last storage. And this will use up all five builders, guys, in three, two, one. Bam. Nice. So, guys, I'm sitting on very little loot. I have done loads of lab upgrades. And I have gotten a little bit of hero progress. Mostly the queen. She is awake now at level 67. I've got all the hammers now ordered. And the countdown has begun. So, seven days from now, I can get another set of hammers. And the laboratory is running. The only thing I didn't do that I would have liked to have probably done is start the Giga, Tesla, the Giga Inferno upgrade to level 2. But, you know, we've got plenty of time for that. So, guys, it's a long video, but that was the intellectual decision-making process that I go through to, um, to start a new town hall. Especially the fact that I had, like, max... Uh, magical items and I still didn't even use them all. It's insane, but it's it's good. Ooh, I can go ahead and finish up the you know what? I'm gonna use all of my research potions here um, Just because it's going to finish off that upgrade even faster I'm also going to start the I'm not gonna use the builder uh, Potions because that one that one didn't finish it up like in two hours and I won't have enough loot for that But I can definitely use the resource potions to speed up and enhance all of my lovely lovely uh, built, uh, gold mines, elixir collectors, and dark elixir drills, so that's awesome, and good thing those things don't get upgrades, right? And, um, yeah, that, oh, oh, we have, we have wall rings. Okay, so, the upgrades at Town Hall 13 include 100 new max walls, so I'm gonna go ahead and use wall rings. Oh, no, ah, oh, I gotta wait, dang it. All right, well, don't let me forget, guys, that next time, 
Um, I'm going to definitely need to use my wall rings before I use up my fifth builder. Fortunately, that is tomorrow before she is done upgrading. Um, and it's uh, totally worth it, guys. So, guys, unfortunately, because this video has gone so long and the decision making has taken so long, I'm going to have to split up this video into two parts because I fully intended on doing some attacks today. So, don't, <laughs> don't freak out, but tomorrow I'm going to be getting into some Town Hall 13 attacks. I'm going to do my CWL attack. Um, it's, it's just going to be... It's going to be epic, guys, but I just don't want a video to be too, too long. Also, um, I heard that the clouds are really bad today, so I'm going to have to be mentally prepared to sit and wait for a while. But guys, that's going to have to do it for me today in this episode of what is the Town Hall 13 Farm to Max. Uh, gotta love it. Super excited, guys. I think we're using our builders pretty effectively on storages and stuff, but we're getting the fun stuff done with the hammers and with the books. Um, so hopefully you learned something. Hopefully, you know, if you have any ideas for what you would have upgraded or if you have any different ideas, let me know in the comments of this video. Also, one more thing, guys. Again, don't forget our sponsor. Check out my uh, freelance artist. The links are down below in the description. If you want something made, she's super effective, super fast and an affordable artist as she gets going. So check her out. The link is in the description. Uh, guys, that's all for me. Remember that I love each and every one of you. Links or uh, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe, join the class family if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And once again, don't forget to use code Klaus in the Creator Boost. I'll see you all again next time.